So the blog page is supposed to contain all the blog posts, but I don't have any blog posts yet. So I guess I have to go and create a blog post first. How do we do that? Um, till now, we've created two static pages. Uh, these are, we are building them page wise, one by one. And in the case of a blog or anything where, you know, there's a set structure, like a blog post, like a blog post, uh, set structure with title, body and all that, uh, you want to create a CMS element, a CMS collection. So let's try a new button on the left side. It's called CMS. You can hover over all of these and they're quite intuitive. There's just a lot of elements. It's like Photoshop. Lot of stuff happening on the screen. Once you figure out what's happening, you become like a pro at this. Uh, so same thing is going to happen to you. Don't worry. I didn't understand what I was doing in the when I started using Webflow. Click on CMS. Helpful it says create your first collection, and I want it to be blog. And as it's as it uh, it can it's showing me a preview that website.com slash blog slash blog page is the URL path. It's the URL path that's going to follow. So this sounds good for me. And what does a blog contain? We can come and edit this later, but let's just say, what all does a blog contain? It contains a name. Uh, name can be used like this, or you can just give it like a different name. It's just a label, just a value that you're storing. Uh, but a name is mandatory and a slug is mandatory. Slug is this. Online course 6622 in five days is the slug. So these are mandatory for any page. Uh, now I want something like I want a header and I'm thinking for the time being I'll use the name as the title of the blog post so I won't make one. I want a post uh, let's see what else is there I want a post body and is there anything else yeah that's about it so uh, the only other thing I'll need is SEO text so what's what's happening here is in this page while this is the title of the blog, this is also the meta title. These are SEO terms. It's called meta title and meta description. Uh, you can see it here in meta tags, uh, this website. So if I paste this, it'll show me what shows up on Google. Same title shows up on Google, this title. And this is a description text that is coming again from my website, but you can't see it here. So where do I set that description? I'm going to create a field and I'll call it meta description and uh, make it say, yeah. Maybe I want it to look like multiple lines, makes it easy. And finally, I want the post body and the post body will be a rich text, just like our homepage. So rich text, let's call it post body, just using obvious names here. And finally, you can see there's an image. You can, you can set an image field that and you might end up adding the image right here in the blog itself. Uh, I don't, but you can. Uh, and you can like, it'll be, it'll work like a title of the uh, title image for a blog. Uh, at the same time, you can use the same image for open graph. What is open graph? When you share a link on social media like Twitter, it populates that preview image. That image is coming from something called open graph uh, data. Uh, so let's create one. Let's just call it post image for now. Create collection. There's nothing here, but let's create five sample items. Great. Okay. Thank you, Webflow, for creating five random items. But as you can see, there's a name for the post, there's a slug, there's a meta description that I have no idea what is written here. There's a post body with headings, quoted text, everything. And there's a post image also. Thank you, Webflow. And you can save it here or you can, can't publish it right now, but you can save it. Saved. It says staged for publish. What that means is I just created this collection, but it's not live on the website because I haven't published the website since I created this new collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and publish it. Okay, published. Let's refresh. But what, how do I find it? Uh, we can't find it because we haven't created the blog page itself. Uh, the page to contain this blog post has been published. To display this blog post has not been created yet. So how do we do that? Uh, 
uh, whenever you create a new CMS collection, like the blog one that we just created, Webflow will create a page uh, and you can differentiate it by obviously it's static pages and CMS pages. And this is similar to the home page in the sense that it, it too has a layout, but this layout uh, will be filled with data from all your blogs. So you can create hundreds of blogs and all of them will be basically looking at this layout in order to get generated. So uh, those are words. I'll just show you an action that will be helpful. Uh, remember, we created a symbol for the nav bar. Nav bar right here. And let's take create the next element now. Let's create a section container diff. Now I want to add. Yeah, I'm going to add a heading. So let's add a heading. And I'm going to add rich text for the post body. And you know what, for good measure, let me add the image also. You can rearrange stuff by dragging and dropping it. Okay, great. Now, I want content from my blog, my blog post to dynamically get filled here. And the way to do that is to map elements to blog, uh, the CMS uh, collection. So by that, I mean, these are elements, name is an element, slug is an element, meta description is an element, post body, these are all elements. And I wanna connect them to this page and say that, hey, when I say heading, I mean that. So let's do that. If I click on the uh, settings wheel, it lets me choose get text from blog. And it lets me choose which element, which field from the blog uh, CMS I wanna connect it to. So I want it to be the name. That was a very short name. And this post body should come from post body. It's the only option here. There you go. Maybe let's look at a longer one. Yep. So this is the heading and this is the post body. And this is the post image, which we can also get post image done. So you have a full blog right now. This is it actually, you know, you can just run with this, but okay. We see that the styling is breaking. Uh, let's step back uh, like for a moment. We had already styled this page on the home page. Remember this, we've already styled this page. So why not use the same styles in the new page? And to do that, all we have to do is, we don't even need to copy anything. Remember I had applied all the styles to this div block and it's called div block two. You can rename it if you want, but let's just go with div block two. I can apply the exact same styles that I applied here already to this new element by just calling it div block two. So let's go blog, where's the div? Let's expand, expand. You can also expand directly like this. There's the div block. I'm going to call it, oh, it's already there. There you go. Problem solved. The styles that were applied elsewhere have already been applied here. So I don't need to reapply them. My blog is ready.